Well, on this channel, we spoke about, and if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. We spoke about Julius Randle, Jamie Foxx, and DDG. What do they have in common? You'll find out. Tommy Saramayo made some few points, and that's extremely rare of him, but he made some good points, so I'll give you my thoughts at the end. Is that just a couple of days ago, ladies and gentlemen? If you didn't see it, you know what I discussed just a couple of days ago. What did I discuss just a couple of days ago? For those who don't know what I discussed a couple of days ago, I discussed the whole Little Mermaid thing. And the Little Mermaid, I'm pretty sure I didn't do it on this computer. Com computer. I didn't do it on this computer. So I don't have the picture, I think. Yep, it's on the other picture. Uh, so I'll just have to go out. Y'all have to go from memory. But the Little Mermaid had a girl by the name of Haley Bailey. And Haley Bailey is the star. And she's the a black girl, a half black, playing the Little Mermaid. And she had a white co-star, which they were doing a presser. Which for those of you who don't know, they're just going around selling the movie. Telling people to watch it. Ginning up support. Ginning up hype. And they held hands when they were on the carpet. I think it was at the Chinese movie theater. Wherever they were, they held hands doing the press junket. And black women, y'all saw me read it. They kept trying to tell this woman. Thank you for hitting the cash app. Whoever hit. They kept trying to tell this girl, you need to be with that white dude. Be with that white guy. You need to be with that white guy. You need to be with that white guy. They were saying that he looks, he's a better look. They were talking about how attractive he was. And they were just working together. That's it. Just working together. But they wanted it to be more. Oh, they wanted it to be more. And here we are three or two days later. Oh, somebody gave me a heart. Thank you. Here we are three or two days later. And in the three or two days that we are here, guess what's happening? We're back to the you're a sellout if you date outside your race. So what we have is women who are old enough to be this boy's mama upset at who this boy dates. Upset at who this boy went to the prom with. Somebody who he went to the prom with that apparently is his long-term girlfriend. Let me read. Bronny James' prom date has been a popular topic lately. LeBron James' son attended his senior prom over the weekend and has received a lot of media attention. As a matter of fact, a lot of black women are pointing to disappointment by saying that his black mother only put up photos of her son and not who her son took. But I got to point something out to y'all just in case you didn't know. LeBron James' mother probably also understands why would you help big up this other person? Your son is the star, so why are you going out here or why would you go out here trying to make sure that this girl got some extra likes and follows for being with your son? Never fails, laughing my ass off. I said he looked feminine. Wow. Never fails, I said he looks feminine. I can't believe his black mother allows this. She must hate herself. Like, you're like a weird black woman. She clearly don't love herself to send her successful black son with a good future of generational wealth and literally hand his wealth away. You need to be supportive with black love. There is South beautiful black young women around him, I'm sure. I don't know what South is, but how would you know that you're sure? 
The mom hates herself. Don't give me love is love because black people are still suffering while y'all allow hardships to worsen not loving your own kind. Going against the grain, I see. No surprises here at all, just typical. This is just prom. There's more waiting from him when he hits USC. Sigh, it's always a flower ranger. It's cool, just not understanding the fascination with athletes. That's what, that's a, she was, she was, looks 32 years old. I'm going to keep it short. You know, like I said in the intro, we spoke about Julius Randle. We spoke about Jamie Foxx. We spoke about DDG. And we're talking about this. This is selective outrage, ladies and gentlemen. It's just that simple. You know, I don't have to give you guys examples of multiple entertainers with, especially women with white husbands, boyfriends, etc. I don't have to give you that example. You guys know. I just can't fathom how this is even a topic in 2023. Forget about it. It's not being a topic. Forget it. That's not even the case. The whole issue is, who cares? <laughs> I said I said it on all three videos. Who cares? Who are they, who are they dating? Because if you read these comments, man, you will think that the life depended on who they're dating. Like, really? Like, it, it, it's insane that we have to have this topic and that people have this huge outrage, especially when a man does it. It's crazy. And I don't support Tommy Sotomayor. You know, you could say you, you support him if you watch him. You could say that. But, um, you know, I can't be a hypocrite and say he doesn't make good points because he does, you know, time to time. He does. But that was the video. We're on the road to 100 subscribers. Thank you for watching. If you subscribe, thank you. And I'm going to catch you guys on the next one. Peace.